Hello and welcome everybody, it's me, Minecraft's Most Charming. I hope you guys are as excited for today's episode as I am, and I hope you guys are all doing well out there. We're going to kick things off in today's episode by kind of checking the rates of both the sugarcane farm and the wool farm. I did spend quite a bit of time AFK over in the wool farm, so I know we've gotten quite a bit of stuff over here. And uh, yeah, let's get down here and kind of see what we have. Chest number one looks to be pretty good, and chest number two looks to be alright. All right, and now we're back at the wool farm, and yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty good so far. I mean, everything is basically going at relatively around the same rate, so just about all these chests are uh, keeping up with about the same amount of materials, which is nice. Some of them's got a little bit of stone in it. Whoops. And, uh, yeah. And so this is pretty promising. I haven't really used very many colors of the wool in very many builds, uh, that's one thing that I'm wanting to try out this season is adding more wool into texturing certain builds and things like that as we go. But, uh, really what we need most of today is going to be this lime green wool and this, uh, black wool back here. And I'm going to use a little bit of the red wool whenever I get ready to decorate around, uh, in here in a little bit. But, uh, yeah. So today's episode, we're really going to focus on kind of terraforming around back here. Because, quite frankly, this area looks pretty rough, and uh, it's not really accessible. I kind of want it all to be, you know, flowing together. I want it to be connected and, you know, look like it's meant to be here. Right now, that just, it doesn't look like it's meant to be there, you know? So, we want to get that taken care of. But, I don't know if you guys have noticed down there in my hot bar, but my tools are not looking too hot. So, uh... I think the first thing I'm going to do in today's episode is actually going to be going over to the nearby village and getting some villagers for mending books because, uh, well, I'm going to need this soon. I really don't have the diamonds to spare to keep repairing these. And, uh, I mean, the Skelly farm, I mean, while it does give decent XP, it's not the quickest farm in the world and I really don't have to keep going back and forth enchanting the entire time. And, uh, yeah, I don't plan on doing the full villager setup over here today. Maybe the breeder, but definitely not the actual trading hall. Because when I do it, I want to do it right. And I want to get the golden apples, and I want to get the splash potions of weakness. I want to get the whole shebang, so this way we can get all of that done and taken care of. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get over here to the nearby village real quick and start trying to get a, a mending villager. All right, I've made it over to the village now, and uh, yeah, I've went ahead and trapped a villager in here, and I'm just going to kind of keep shuffling through his trades until he gives me what I'm after, which is uh, mending. I would personally love to get my hands on an Unbreaking 3 villager, but uh, the real focus today is going to be mending. So yeah, I'm just going to keep going until we kind of find one of those, and uh, I'm going to set up a couple of uh, fletching tables and try to get some sticks going for emeralds because, well... I mean, these books are probably not going to be cheap by the time I find them. So, yeah, just uh, stay tuned. I'll uh, cut back to you once we're done finding it. Well, after about 10 minutes of cycling through trades, I finally got one that's got mending for 20 emeralds. That's not the worst mending trade I've ever seen. But, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to bring the stuff to lock in the trade. So I'm going to run back to the house real quick and grab the, uh, a little bit of sugar cane so I can lock this guy in real quick. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of Fletchers, and I'll kind of cut back to you once I have, you know, a couple of mending books with me. All right, you guys, about an hour of trading has gone by now, and I've finally got at least ten mending books. Uh, I went ahead and got this many just so I can get my armor mended up, and I can also get the rest of my tools mended up as well. Or at least uh, most of them. I don't think I'll add it to the sword just yet. Uh, I'm probably going to save one of these mending books for, uh, well, probably for next episode, you know, uh, I'm not going to go too in detail with that, but I've got big plans for next episode, so just stick around, you know, subscribe, and, you know, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on that episode, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start adding it to all my tools, and go get it all mended up, and everything like that, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on the next part of today's episode. All right, you guys, as you can see, I've already added mending to everything, and got all my tools and everything mended back up, which, uh, Honestly, it took way longer in the skelly farm than I care to admit. But, uh, yeah, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing now. And I'm actually boating out here to the ocean because I want to set up a creeper farm in today's episode. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest here. I was originally going to focus on the aesthetics of this farm 
and, and which is uh what I hinted at at the beginning of the video, saying that I was you know spending all that time AFK in the wool farm. But I started kind of designing it in uh, a creative world, and I used this thing called Lightmatica, which shows me you know schematics and it shows me uh, just how much of the materials I'll be using. And for all the materials I was going to be using, it was going to pretty much require me to spend forever in that farm, uh, sitting AFK for all the materials. And for the sake of getting these videos out, you know, in a timely fashion, I figure I'll just go ahead and put it out over here and uh, not really focus on the aesthetics as much. Uh, typically, I would focus on the aesthetics of it, but... Let's get real. This is, uh, you know, just a little farm that you guys probably will never see out here anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of uh, put it together with a bunch of deep slate. And I've got most of the materials here. I'm probably going to end up needing more. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and start kind of uh, building it up out here for, you know, the best rates and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to build it up as a time lapse because, I mean, this farm is, you know, not really going to look any good anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on that, and I'll cut back to you in a little bit. All right, so while I'm building up this farm, I just kind of wanted to take a moment to talk with you guys again. Um, so I just want to say, as I did in the last episode, I greatly appreciate all of the support you guys have given in every video so far. And I, you know, I really appreciate all the nice comments and everything like that. Uh, I am open to, you know, your criticism and things like that. So if you see things in builds that I could improve on or uh, change, or like if you see, you know, like certain little detailing things that I could try out in some of my builds, let me know. Because, you know, you might open my eyes to a whole new building technique that I've never, you know, thought about before. I am originally, you know, better at uh, redstone than I am at building. So it's something that I'm trying to kind of teach myself how to do. And, uh... I don't think I'm doing very bad at it. Uh, I've been kind of focusing on it a lot in my last few worlds, though this is the first world that I'm actually uploading. Um, but yeah, so just, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking so far and uh, everything like that. But the reason that I really wanted to talk to you guys was to just kind of tell you my plans for uh, later on in the season. So very, very soon, um, I'm talking probably next episode, so you guys, you know, should turn on the notification bell and hit the subscribe button in case, you know, you want to see that. But I plan on going to the end soon and getting wings and getting shulker boxes and things like that. So, uh, yeah, my goal is once I get the wings and everything together, I plan on really, really focusing a lot on, uh, on getting, uh, you know my builds looking a lot better and things like that. I'm really trying to focus on more of the aesthetics on it. All right, you guys, the creeper farm is finally complete. It's not perfect. The rates are not the most efficient in the world, which I know I've said about the other farms as well. And uh, we do have a bit of a spider problem here, but uh, yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll do. I might uh, upgrade creator performs later on in the season but uh yeah so this will do for the time being and yeah i don't know it's not the prettiest farm in the world but uh you know it just looks like a giant deep slate cube but uh like i said you guys will never actually see this farm anyway so it'll be all right so i'm gonna spend a little time afk here and try to get a little bit more gunpowder together and stuff and yeah i'll just uh, meet you guys back at base here in a little bit all right, you guys, now that we are back at base, I'm going to go ahead and start terraforming the uh, the backside of the tunnel there. If you remember that area, it uh, it looks a little rough still. So we're going to go ahead and get that going, and I'm just going to do that in the form of a short little time lapse. So let's go.
right, you guys, I'm finally done out here, or done for the time being, and uh, I really like how this turned out. I just made a pretty straightforward path over here, and uh, looking at it from in the air, I feel like I could have made more curves in this, but I kind of have a plan for everything out here, or, well, I say I have a plan. I don't really have a plan, but I have ideas that I might go through with out here. Like, I'm envisioning a little fishing hut here, and maybe some little buildings scattered out through here. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. But this area's got a lot of potential, and I like it. So, yeah, I plan on doing something with it at some point. And I went ahead and filled in this hole in the wall back here, but, uh, I mean, that area still looks just a little weird, especially right here, where it just kind of suddenly drops off. But uh, yeah, I'll fix that up later on in time or something. Uh, I might add in a little building up top here or something. I don't know. But it looks a lot better and this path is actually usable now. So when I'm over in this area, I can just easily go around this way. And uh, yeah, I just like the idea of having it all linked up like this. So now with that being done, we can go ahead and get started with the, you know, the next set of plans for today, which is going to be setting up a villager breeder back here. And uh, I was going to set up a trading hall, but the trading hall is not quite going to be ready today. And I don't feel like spending two weeks on getting the materials together and making farms to get all the stuff ready to go, you know, hand in hand with this, as in making like a gold farm and things like that. Um, so, yeah, because my idea is to make a gold farm and, uh, you know, get the golden apples together. So this way I can kind of start curing the, the zombie villagers and, you know, converting and doing that that whole ordeal which is a it's a whole mess so yeah i'm gonna probably put the villager breeder back here uh which i have labeled and uh yeah so i'm just kind of thinking of putting it back here and using these walls uh for the actual uh villager containment areas okay that sounds bad but uh yeah that's probably gonna be what i do i've done this design before in previous worlds and, uh, yeah, it's just easier to keep up with them that way. But, uh, yeah, so before we get started with this, there's one thing I want to talk to you guys real quick about. And that is, uh, well, as you guys know, if you've watched the channel since the beginning, I've been uploading at least two videos a week. And, uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you, that's, uh, it's pretty hard to keep up with that. Especially with the fact that I still work a full-time job outside of doing this YouTube thing. Because, you know, I've got to be able to pay bills somehow. I am not making any money off of these videos. So, yeah, with uh, me still working a full-time job and uh, not really being able to put all of my time into content creation like I want to, um, I really am going to have to probably drop down to doing at least one video a week. And I really wish I could put out more videos than that a week. I've got several, several different series that I want to try out. Uh, just kind of on this side. I even want to try a little hardcore series. Uh, but yeah, so with, uh, you know, time and money being an issue, I can't really justify going full time on YouTube right now. So I'm just going to drop down to doing one video a week. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more than one video a week and you really like the content that I have, you can always share my channel with your friends or anybody who might be interested in this content. And, uh, yeah, trying to help me get those subscriber numbers up. And, you know, yeah, try to get it to where I can get paid from doing this. You know, I'd love to turn this into a full-time gig for you guys and for myself as well. And, uh, yeah, so I guess with that being out of the way now, we're going to go into, uh, you know, making this uh, villager breeder real quick. All right, so I've spent some time kind of planning this area out just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I made this hallway because, frankly, if I'm walking down this hallway, I don't like the idea of being able to see a farm back here uh, kind of running like the villager breeder. Those villager breeders do not typically look very good. So, yeah, I'd rather not, uh, you know, kind of have that eyesore sitting here. So I kind of sectioned off these rooms here. And, uh, you know, I haven't made the actual rooms yet or anything. Oh, I, I really need to terraform up there. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, I have kind of did that to kind of uh, figure out what I want to do with it. And, uh, yeah, so I figure I'll just kind of hide everything behind these areas. And I made the hallway, and when I was making it, I kind of went into free camo just to see how much room I had to play with. 
And what I learned was if I mine down in this area, just straight down, go in this direction, you'll eventually run into the scaly farm. And that is kind of convenient, so I may go ahead and uh, push out this wall in a future episode. I definitely won't be doing it today. But uh, yeah, I figure I might push it out or make a little hidden entrance there leading down to it. And uh, yeah, doing that. So I guess since we've got all that out of the way, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of, you know, corner myself right here for a minute. And it is now done. Done. So I finished uh, kind of doing the interior of the hallway first. You know, interiors are not my strong suit. So I kind of just threw something together here, but I think it fits the part. It does what it needs to do. Yeah. Now the side rooms, those are going to be a little bit ugly. But to be fair, these kind of forms are not exactly easy to hide. And I kind of need easy access to them anyway. So over here, we've got the villager breeder. And it is uh, currently not working. For whatever reason, they are not making babies. They act like they want to, and then it doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. And for whatever reason, they uh, were feeling the need to plant wheat in the middle of all the carrots that I had planted. So I don't really understand that either. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look into that in between episodes. But over here, we've also got the zombie purification chamber. So essentially, the uh, the villagers, when they get bread, they will fall down a little water tube that leads them over to here. And uh, they get pushed into this, to where they turn into little zombies. And uh, yeah, I basically just kind of wind them all up here, cure them here, and you know, so forth. But uh, yeah. Currently, that's not working because that's not working. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure that out in between episodes. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, anyway, I can't really use that until I get, you know, golden apples and stuff like that. Anyway, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's done for now. So, I know today's episode was a little bit different in terms of content for you guys. It was more about progression than about building and, you know, being super creative or anything here. But all of these things that we, uh did stay are kind of necessary especially for what i have planned going forward in future episodes and things like that so these progression episodes won't really happen very often if you know again honestly uh yeah i really tend to focus more on progression early game like this because i want to do more impressive builds later on so yeah that's gonna be the plan because uh next episode i've got a lot planned uh it's also gonna you know have a little bit of progression in it but it's going to be a very exciting episode nonetheless. There's going to be plenty of action happening in that one. So be sure to stick around for that. And with that, my friends, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please uh, you know, show your support by hitting the like button and comment down below letting me know what you guys look forward to seeing next. And you know, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. It helps your boy out. My name is Lane, and I will see you guys next time.